That's a girl. That's a girl. Oh, yes. My banana monster. Oh, my gosh, girl. You're so beautiful. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Lucy left me a little gift, not too terribly bad, but she is definitely perched up here and looking like she is about ready for a meal. So I think I might thaw some food out for her and feed her tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. Just a little clean for you, girl. And I tell you what, it is amazing. You just walk into a cage like this. She has got her eyes focused right on me. People that think that snakes are not intelligent are crazy. I mean, there is no doubt. She is looking. She's trying to figure out. Her eyes are focused completely on me. She's making slight amount of movement. I am forever just fascinated how incredibly amazing these animals are. And again, for people that don't think they're intelligent, they haven't been working with them long enough. Regardless, I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. We're going to have a fun day together. And I'm not going to lie, I've got a lot of things to talk to you guys about today because you know, I'm just back from Mexico. I'm energized like I had mentioned yesterday. And I really had a lot of time to think about things and move forward with a handful of projects. So I want to talk about some of those today if you guys don't mind. The first thing I really want your opinion on and maybe maybe even help for some of you, I'm not 100% sure, is that it's really bothered me over the last year or so that I have my other channel, Snake Bites TV or Animal Bites TV, same exact channel, that has close to 800,000 subscribers. And I did kind of the in the news. It was kind of, it was fun, but it wasn't like super popular. So I didn't know if that was really what I wanted to do with that. And I've been thinking like, what am I going to do with that channel? Do I just leave it sit dormant and not do something with it? And I've always kind of wanted to do this. So after really giving it some thought, I wanted to bring it to you. Let me know your thoughts and if you can actually help with this. I'm thinking about turning it into kind of a little bit more of a 10 to 15 minute almost animal adventure TV show once a week. So basically where I would travel in the wild or even really cool animal adventures and have them really highly produced like literally like a TV show. Multiple camera angles, really good production, drone shots, beautiful shots, the whole thing like that. I don't Do you guys think that that's a good idea? I know it's going to be a little work but it'd be kind of fun for the vlog too because I can can vlog the adventure of doing it and kind of the behind the scenes and all that stuff and then I can produce a really cool weekly show that would be awesome on my other channel Animal Bites TV. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. Now second part of this, this is where it gets tricky. I don't have the time, energy or anything I have to do the editing and all the producing of something like that. So what I really need is I'm looking for like two people to join my team. Basically I need them to be able to work cameras as well as at least one of them to be able to edit and kind of produce something like that. That way I'm just kind of the guy in front of the camera, if you know what I mean. I can do my vlogging stuff and they can do the producing and produce some really crazy things. Now, I really prefer those people to be here in Michigan so we can be working really directly, but I'm open to anything. If you think you would like to join along, listen, there's probably not going to be a lot of pay on the front side, but maybe if it gets popular, there's going to be some advantages on the back side. We can talk about that if it's something you're interested in. Again, good with cameras, good with editing, good with producing stuff like that. And hey, if nothing else, you could get maybe a free trip to Africa get some free trips around the world and we can have some fun and hopefully if it gets popular you can make some money on it I'm not 100% sure so again do me a favor if this fits something that you're interested in hit me up at info at bhbreptiles.com put attention Brian and I will get the email and we can communicate and I want to know for you guys do you like the idea out of all of my animals I think potato is the most absolutely peculiar when he's in a shed it lasts for like four or five days he turns this really blue gray color and again, we know that happens with snakes and all kinds of other reptiles where they go blue. Basically what's happening is their epidural layer of skin is basically going to shed off and they need to produce a secretion in between the second and epidural layer that basically ultimately absorbs into that outer layer and that's what helps them shed off. Kind of almost like lotion, if you will. But for whatever reason, potato just gets uber crazy looking. And this is kind of the tail end of it. So it's probably even crazier the last few days. Of course, I was out of town, so I wouldn't know. But I just think he's absolutely incredible. Not to mention, I just thought you guys would like to see Potato again. <laughs> you saw in the vlog yesterday, we had a ton of stuff that people sent us. So we're just going to open up a few things really quick. Uh, this was one that I was actually pretty excited about. Oh, got oh. stuff flying everywhere. <laughs> okay. This? Uh, this is actually pretty cool. Ch <laughs> take a look at this. This is actually Stay Positive. Stay Positive. <laughs> Stay positive. And uh, some shirts that I absolutely love. Stay Positive. Oh. 
All right, this is yours. It has yep. pink on it. <laughs> stay positive. But these are stay positive. Now the deal is, is actually, this is a really great story, Laurie. So I'm gonna okay. put a link in the description that to this good. company, Stay Positive. This guy was actually a younger guy that got cancer and beat the cancer. Oh. And then started a company called Stay Positive Very Apparel. Cool. And I believe a lot of their proceeds go to like helping other people, cancer patients, stuff like this. So absolutely love it. In this crazy world of negativity and drama filled interwebs, as you guys certainly know, goes on. I love messages like this. Stay positive, and I am absolutely going to be sporting the Stay Positive shirt because I, I tell you, that's that's my message. Stay positive. Don't get caught up in the drama and all the negativity because it's like Gary V. Gary Vaynerchuk says. Negativity wins the short game, but positivity always wins the long game. So, you know, for the people that want to be negative, it may get you some attention now, but trust me, in the future, it's going to come back to bite you. So stay positive. Thank you for sending me these. These are awesome. I started to use oil pastels to make pictures, so I'm in no way very talented. I love when you guys send me art. I enjoy your vlogs very much, and I wanted to give you something back as a way to say thank you. So thank you so much. This is actually from Mel Day, so uh, awesome. I appreciate it, and I'm going to look at this at the same time as you are. Look at that. That is awesome. Look at that. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh my god, he's got the tortoise. It's got little snakes in the trees. And oh my god, I think you're doing a great job. So thank you so much for sending me this. You're absolutely wonderful. And again, I love when you guys send me art. That's cool, huh? And lastly, we have something from Texas from Robin. Muscles, come on. <laughs> okay, so we got a box. I hope it's not breakable. <laughs> uh, here, you, you take that. And basically, to sum up this letter, basically it was they were obsessed with snakes since they were two, but didn't actually own snakes till they were in their 30s. Got a bubblegum corn snake, did a whole bunch of other stuff, and then they sent us... Uh, <laughs> this is a huge gummy snake. And then Robin actually sent us, I guess, some gummy worms. And it says here, oh, I got Lori some crunchy gummy bears also because oh. I know she likes sprinkles, uh, and, and we got the gummy snakes. So, oh my gosh, look oh, at these, these sprinkles. Are awesome. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. So these are literally and you're so right. I love sprinkles. Oh my god, take a look at these. These are gummy bears. This is the perfect sprinkles covered too. I appreciate they are fully covered with the sprinkles. This so, is awesome. So anyways guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh eat these gummy bears and call it a day with that back to work. <laughs> Thank you guys. P.O. Box is always in the description. I love you guys so much. Time to feed Bella a banana. Belle, you want a banana girl? Come on, sweetie. Come on, I know you want it. That's a girl. That's a girl. Oh, yes. My banana monster. Oh my gosh, girl. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Another piece? <laughs> you know, I've been feeding this girl bananas for a couple years now, and still I laugh every time. It's like one of the funnest things that I get to do. Whenever I'm a little stressed out, I could just come over and spend a little time with my girl Bella here, and she absolutely cheers me up. Bella, I love you so much. As you're such a beautiful girl, but you're a messy eater, you silly monkey, you. Oh my gosh. And honestly, guys, like I've said so many times, I am so lucky to have an animal that's as incredible as Bella. It's just literally mind-blowing to me that I can have the relationship that I have with a reptile like this. I mean, even all the years I've worked with reptiles, I never thought this was possible to literally have the same type of relationship that you would have almost with a dog, you know? It's pretty incredible. It just goes to show you that it doesn't matter how long you do something, you can still have your mind changed. I mean, and Bella, you are one special animal. On to the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys. I had mentioned a couple weeks ago that I wanted to do a reptile breeding game app that you can play on your phone or tablet or whatever the case may be. I talked to a bunch of different people, so thank you for everyone that reached out to me. You are all absolutely wonderful. Turns out that I'm gonna actually partner up with a couple guys that are down in Australia. It just worked out really well because not only did they have the vision, they actually like reptiles and keep reptiles, and they know how to develop these games. And I thought that maybe having a reptile person help me develop this game would be better than say a professional company that was really great at what they did, but they might not know the intricacies of the reptile breeding part which could potentially be an issue down the road and in actuality probably make less work for me having someone on board really good guys so basically let me just run down what's gonna happen here first off the game is basically something like this and it may change a little bit like let's say you start out with a pair of snakes or a pair of geckos whatever the case is you have to care for them you have to feed them you have to water them you have to clean them all that type of stuff each time you feed them it costs you a coin
coin, maybe you start with 500 coins. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen there, but the fact is, is that every time you feed it, it costs you a little bit of money. When you do other things, it costs you money, so on like that, but then you could actually raise them up and breed them, and once you breed them, you get eggs, you can put them in the incubator, then you have to check the incubator. You know, all that type, you guys have probably played the Sims game or Cupcake Wars or whatever the case may be, and ultimately, as the eggs hatch, you can either sell them back, trade them to other users on the app. If you wanna trade with your friends or members, you could do that, and ultimately, you're gonna build and build and build, you know, from two snakes to 10 snakes to 12 snakes. You can move to different species, whatever. We're gonna be doing updates on the game like every 60 days or so, so that there's new features and so on like that. So I am super excited that this is actually gonna happen. Just to give you the quick rundown, probably within a month and a half or so, we're gonna have what's called a closed beta, which means a small group of people are gonna be playing a very rudimentary form of the game just to make sure that functionally everything is working. After a couple months after that, we're probably gonna get into what is called a closed beta. I'll probably have the people that support me on Patreon playing the closed beta, and I'll give you guys the option. I'll put a link in the description to my Patreon, by the way, and anyone that is supporting me on Patreon will actually get, you know, X amount of coins to play the closed beta, and that's gonna go on for a little bit of time, where you're gonna have basically kind of what the game is gonna look like, and then you can tell us what we can change, what we should add, if there's a problem with something, and then ultimately we release the game. It is completely free. It's not gonna cost you anything unless you wanna buy more coins and stuff like that, but it is not gonna to be something that's going to be charged and it's going to be epic. So let me know in the comments if you like the idea, if you think it's awesome. I am over the top excited about this. Again, probably going to be about six or eight months before everybody is going to be able to play. But if you're on Patreon here in the next few months, maybe you'll get an opportunity. I don't know exactly what it is. I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know what you guys think. And while I'm talking about ideas, you guys may remember that I had that secret box or 400 of them. I tell you what, I'll tell you guys tomorrow in the vlog what's in those boxes. How does that sound? I know I'm gonna make you wait one more day, but uh, tomorrow I'll spill the beans on that one. And a lot of you guys may not know that I was actually a Boy Scout when I was younger, so right now I'm doing an event for a Boy Scout group, which is pretty exciting, so it should be an absolutely amazing time. And again, how this always works is that we just let everyone kind of come in, get the lay of the land, look around, stuff like that, and then we'll do like a quick like 40 minute presentation where the kids can learn a little bit about the animals, they get to touch them and stuff like that, and then after Afterwards, we'll probably do some pictures and stuff, but it's pretty cool. Again, there's nothing that I love more than when kids come in and get excited about animals. And uh, as you can see, everyone's already super excited. It's gonna be a great event. Having an absolutely amazing time with these guys. And take a look at this, a reptile badge. Show them your badge, show them awesome. your badge, just hold them up. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Look at that, that is cool. I gotta, I gotta get one of those, why don't I have one of those badges? What's going on here? And guess what? I actually have my own patch now, a reptile's patch. This is so awesome, I'll treasure this. Like I had mentioned, I was a Boy Scout and a Cub Scout when I was young too, so uh, it was absolutely a great time. I mean, what a bunch of awesome kids. And hey, I've now got a reptile Cub Scout badge. Basically, the last thing on my list today is opening up for the Reptarium and having a great night. I have a feeling it's gonna be a good one. Let's rock and roll. Ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. All right, let's do it. <laughs> hey guys, hi, how are you? Welcome, how are you? Good, hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Hey guys, how are you? Hi, welcome, hi. welcome, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hello. Hello. Welcome, how are you? Come on in, let's have some fun time. Hey, what's going Where on? Go? Been a while since I've seen you. Been open for like five minutes already. Bella's getting a little bit of attention. Hi. Girl, and uh, the place is filling up, so it's absolutely going to be an awesome night here at the Reptera for sure. So let's see what else we can get into. Only one of those nights that is gong show in here. I mean, people, 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 people. It's absolutely an incredible evening for sure. I just had a feeling that tonight was going to be this way just by how many people were like calling and showing up throughout the day. So, so as you can see, it's <laughs> we're full on here. It's absolutely cool, and people are still coming in. We're going to have an absolutely amazing night. Looks like Bruce has something over there. I don't even know what he's got going on over there. What is he doing over there? We've got potato out over here. We got honey out over here. Woo! And we got all the tarantulas. Yeah. The tarantula well, Bruce. Oh, we got it. It's full on. It. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing guys? How's it going? Still going strong. We got Casper out over here. Whew, I tell you what, that was one of the busier nights we've had since we've been open. I mean, absolute <laughs> insanity. And it's still, it's like 7.30 and it's still pretty busy in here. It's definitely calming down a little bit, but compared to what it was before, you couldn't even walk. It was craziness, but absolutely fun. What do we got? 
Aww. <laughs> Jessica, that was bonkers. Yes, it was. Oh my god. <laughs> it was crazy. No, it it's finally cl like slowed down, but I've been going nonstop. I feel like. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it was uh, it, it was one for the books, one for the books, but absolutely a blast. Woo with that said, guys, we are gonna go ahead and end the vlog. That was the third busiest night the Reptarium has ever had since we've been open. So, hoo doggy, that was absolutely a blast. What an amazing night it's been, and I hope that you guys have an amazing day, night, whenever you happen to be watching, because as always, your support means the world to me, and I truly love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you strike that like button? Can you turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video, which is every day, seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time? Make a comment down below, because I love reading about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone today, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.